The journey to the stars begins on the ground. It starts with a dream, a spark of curiosity that ignites the flame of ambition. Our astronaut, a sentinel of human will and determination, embarks on a path of rigorous training, both physical and psychological. They are pushed to their limits, their body and mind tempered to withstand the demands of the journey that lies ahead. In the midst of this intense preparation, a symphony of science and technology plays out. Engineers and technicians, the unsung heroes of this odyssey, meticulously check and recheck every bolt, every circuit, every system of the spacecraft. This is a machine built to defy gravity, to carry our astronaut into the great beyond, and it must be perfect. Safety is paramount, for the stakes are as high as the stars themselves. As the final checks are made, the countdown begins. The voyage into the unknown is about to commence. The moment arrives, engines roar to life. A symphony of power, precision and human ingenuity, the rocket awakens, trembling beneath the might of a thousand suns. The countdown, that final tether to Earth, reaches zero, and with a thunderous applause of fire and fury, our lone astronaut is catapulted into the heavens. Imagine the sensation, the raw, visceral power of the launch, the relentless push against gravity, the world shaking, rattling and roaring around you. The adrenaline surges, heart pounding in rhythm with the rocket's pulse, a symphony of sound and sensation, overwhelming yet exhilarating. As the spacecraft ascends, the punishing pressure gradually subsides. The cacophony of the launch gives way to a deafening silence, a piece punctuated only by the astronauts' steady breaths and the soft hum of the spacecraft. Leaving behind a trail of fire and smoke, the spacecraft pierces the sky. And just like that, the familiar blue horizon fades into the infinite black expanse of space. The chaos of liftoff gives way to the serenity of space. As our lone astronaut breaches the final frontier of Earth's atmosphere, they are greeted by a spectacle that few have had the privilege to witness. The spacecraft, once rattling with the force of its own propulsion, now glides effortlessly through the cosmos, a silent ship sailing on a sea of stars. Imagine, if you will, the sensation of looking out the spacecraft's window for the first time. It's not just the stars that take your breath away. It's the realization that every point of light is a distant sun, perhaps with its own planets, its own Earths, and beyond them, galaxies, each a metropolis of stars, stretch out into the infinite expanse. It's an awe-inspiring, humbling panorama that redefines our understanding of vastness and beauty. Our astronaut, once a dweller of Earth, is now a voyager of the universe, a cosmic explorer treading the path of comets and cosmic dust. They find themselves in the paradoxical situation of feeling both infinitesimally small and immensely privileged. They are a tiny speck in a boundless cosmos, yet they are here, in this moment, a witness to the grandeur of the universe. As the spacecraft ventures further, the astronaut's connection to Earth becomes a tether stretching across the cosmic sea. The blue marble that we call home shrinks into the distance, a beacon of life amidst the void. Yet even as our astronaut ventures deeper into the unknown, the thought of Earth is a comforting presence, a reminder of where we come from and what we are a part of. In the silent void, the vastness of space reveals itself. It's a world of celestial bodies, of galaxies, of mysteries waiting to be unraveled. As we journey alongside our astronaut, we are not merely spectators but explorers, partaking in the grand odyssey that is the exploration of space. Aboard the spacecraft, a new routine begins. Our astronaut, once bound by the laws of gravity, now finds himself in a world where up is down and down is up. Imagine, if you will, waking up, and instead of stepping onto the floor, you simply float to the bathroom. Breakfast is not as simple as pouring a bowl of cereal. In microgravity, everything floats, including food and liquids. So our astronaut relies on specially prepared meals, often dehydrated, that just need a bit of water to come to life. Drinking coffee or water is a whole other adventure, as liquids form into floating bubbles, that need to be carefully sipped from a pouch. Physical fitness is paramount in space. Without the constant resistance of gravity, muscles and bones can weaken. So every day our astronaut spends two hours exercising. Treadmills and resistance devices are specially designed for working out in zero gravity. It's like a gym, but with the best view in the universe. 
Work is also an integral part of life in orbit. From maintaining the spacecraft systems to conducting numerous scientific experiments, the astronaut's day is packed. It's not all serious business, though. There are light-hearted moments and playful interactions among the crew. After all, a little humor goes a long way when you're millions of miles from home. Living in space also means adapting to a confined environment. Spacecrafts are not spacious, but every inch is efficiently designed to accommodate the crew and their needs. Personal space is minimal, but astronauts learn to respect it and make the most of their shared quarters. The astronaut's work often involves conducting experiments that can only be done in microgravity. These range from studying how plants grow in space to observing the behavior of fluids. The findings not only contribute to our understanding of life in space, but also have implications for improving life back on Earth. Sleeping in space is another unique experience. Astronauts sleep in small individual cabins, just big enough to float inside. They use sleeping bags strapped to the wall to prevent floating around. Imagine drifting off to sleep while gazing at the Earth below. Despite the challenges, life in space carries on, each day bringing new discoveries. It's a testament to human ingenuity and adaptability, showing that even in the most alien of environments, we find a way to carry on. The astronaut's daily life in orbit, though filled with unfamiliar routines and challenges, is also filled with moments of wonder and awe. Every sunrise and sunset, every floating droplet of water, every glimpse of our planet from above, serves as a constant reminder of our place in the cosmos and the extraordinary journey we've embarked on to get here. In the solitude of space, introspection follows. Our astronaut, floating in the cosmic ocean, finds themselves in a state of profound contemplation. The journey so far has been a tapestry of exhilarating discoveries, heart-stopping challenges, and moments of serene tranquility. As they look out into the abyss, they feel a sense of wonder and insignificance. The cosmos, with its endless expanse of stars and galaxies, dwarfs them and their spacecraft. It's a humbling experience, a reminder of our infinitesimal place in the grand scheme of things, but it's not just the vastness of space that inspires reflection, it's also the view of our home planet from this unique vantage point. From here, Earth appears as a radiant blue jewel suspended in the velvety darkness. It's an ethereal sight that awakens a new appreciation for our world. The astronaut sees the Earth, not as a collection of nations or continents, but as a single interconnected entity. They realize the invisible threads that bind us all together, transcending borders and differences. This perspective shift, often referred to as the overview effect, is a transformative experience shared by many astronauts. Space also brings into sharp focus the fragility of our planet. From above, the astronaut can see the thin protective layer of atmosphere that shields us, a delicate veil against the harshness of space. It's a poignant reminder of our responsibility to protect and preserve our shared home. As they continue to gaze at the Earth, a profound realization sets in. Despite the immensity of the cosmos, this is our only home. We are but a tiny speck in the grand cosmos, yet within this speck lies a world teeming with life, diversity and beauty. It's a realization that underscores the need for unity, compassion and custodianship. Gazing at the Earth, a profound realization sets in. We are but a tiny speck in the grand cosmos. Yet within this speck lies an extraordinary world that we are privileged to call home. As the mission concludes, thoughts of home fill the heart. There's a unique mix of emotions brewing within the astronaut now. A sense of elation at the prospect of returning to the familiar comforts and loved ones waiting back on Earth. Yet, there's a tinge of melancholy too. Saying farewell to the stars, to the serenity and the solitude is harder than one might think. The journey back is a meticulous process. Every system, every calculation must be perfectly executed. There's a tangible tension, but also a sense of calm. It's a dance the astronaut and the spacecraft have practiced time and again. As Earth begins to grow larger in the spacecraft's window, so does the anticipation of setting foot on home soil again. The extraordinary odyssey is coming to an end, leaving behind a universe of memories. Yet, every ending is but a new beginning. The cosmos continue to beckon, 
inviting us to venture further into the unknown.